Hey yarn friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. Today is day 22 of our yarn advent calendar baggies and Phoebe's treat baggie and she is anticipating getting her treat. Um, ever since I started setting up, she was over here just very, very excited. She knows. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a great day and that, um, you know, it's Christmas is right here upon us. I hope everyone is ready. And um, even if you're not ready, the little things don't matter. What matters is being with your loved ones or, um, you know, just letting people know that you love them and care about them. And that doesn't have to be a gift. That can be just a phone call or a note in the mail, you know. And so um, for our family, we are actually having... Our little Christmas, which isn't a big deal, it's just a very small thing. On Monday, that's when um, Dakota will be off work, and Jody gets off work at you no know, four or five o'clock that evening, and Elijah will be home. So that is the night that we're doing our little Christmas. Jody will actually be working uh, Christmas Day, eight to eight, eight a.m. to eight p.m. So, um. Anyway, that's our plans for our family. We will have our little Christmas um, Monday, and then Tuesday, it'll be back to normal. And then um, Wednesday, um, I think Dakota will be off, but Jody will be working, and Elijah will be here. So we'll just have a lazy day of doing whatever, relaxing and just enjoying being with each other. But anyway... Um, I think Phoebe is done waited all she can wait, and so I better give her her little treat baggie real quick. You ready, baby? You ready for your treat? And you see she's wearing her pajamas that Tracy sent her. Oh, can you get your treat? All right, is that good? She's like, yeah, but it's not enough. Your baggie's almost empty. Yes, it is. Your bag is nearly empty, Phoebe. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll open my day 22 bag and see what's in here. Okay. Um, oh, okay. This, um, twisted yarn. It's a big chunky. I had a green and gray like this I've already made a stocking with. So I'll whip up a little stocking of that. And this looks like a large little ball of it. So I'll whip up a stocking with that. And the other thing that was in the bag is this little little llama pouch. That's cute. Alright. I'll have to put that in my llama purse that Judy sent me. Um, I'll show you my little stockings that I have made. Um, let's see if I can slowly turn you over. My door is just getting full. It is so full of cards and stockings. It's 21 stockings up there and so I'll make day 22 stocking and add it up there today. And let's see. Um, I do have some Christmas cards I wanted to share. Baby jumped up like it was something for her. <laughs> this one is from Lori. And um, Lori lives in Texas. And so she um, sent this card right here. It's that beautiful wreath. The, I guess it's um, pomegranates on it. When I was a little girl, I would go and stay in the summers with my grandmother, and she had a pomegranate tree. And, oh, I love to pick those and just eat the pomegranates. That's a really pretty reef. Okay, and on the inside, she had stuck this little um, cutout about making a difference. And, um, honestly, I can't read it right now. I read it before. But now I can't make out the words because I have to have it under light. And actually, I have a magnifying light, and so I would put it under there to be able to read it because it's 
pretty little print for me even with my glasses but um anyway so what i'm going to do with this lori is i'm going to glue this in my journal thank you so much i'm gonna let it right here because i'm gonna glue that in my journal in just a bit and so i will see that and you can read it and enjoy it and then this card is from neva or neva i'm not sure how you pronounce it but she is manic mama Her YouTube channel is Manic Mama Creations. <clears throat> anyway, so she sent this really pretty card that also has a beautiful wreath on it. I just love the artistic looks of everything. So I appreciate that very much. And then this card is from um, Victorian. Victoria, and she is Alaska Crafty, Crafty Girl, and our gal, and um, she wrote me a little note in there too, and she sent this beautiful card, Peace on Earth and the Birds, some cardinals or some birds there, isn't that really pretty, it's um, really, really pretty snow scene, and I just love that it has a American flag there in the background part of the picture and so she sent um, this little angel isn't that sweet cute little angel do you want to see it baby yeah it's a cute little angel and so um, I can hang that on my tree or um, this is really cute. I love that. So thank you so much. Thank you for thinking of me and sending a card. And sending something that you made. That's just precious. So, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on the tree or if I might incorporate it into one of my notebooks. So, I'm going to hang these cards up on my door. And also hang up, um, make my stocking and hang them up today. Um, there is big, big news in our family. <laughs> big things happening. Oh, I did want to tell y'all that I did get some sleep. Much, much needed sleep, but I got some sleep. And I appreciate your thoughts and well wishes for me um, and prayers. Um, I just it was really run down and just run ragged. But I did get some sleep and I'm feeling much better. Um... But the big news of the changes happening in our family is this is my husband's very last weekend to work. Weekends. To work weekends. He's still working. <laughs> um, he has worked weekends. He's worked this job since Elijah was a baby. Um, trying to think how old he was. He wasn't quite a year old when Jody started working where he works now. And... Um, he was hired to work weekends, so that's been his job all these years. And Elijah's now 20, and so Jody's worked there, you know, almost 20 years. And he's worked weekends every weekend, you know, um, unless he took off or something or was on vacation or whatever or broke foot. <laughs> but um, this is his last week to work weekends, so... He um, had a big project at work that they were working on, and somehow or another, it just got turned over to Jody to work it, and it was a um, huge deal, and somehow or another, Jody was able to pull it off and get it completed, and they passed the, um, and I don't know if it's inspection or, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but it's kind of like inspection, but he was able to pull it off, and they passed and so, um, the next week at work, they presented Jody with this new job of being over that, um, deal. I'm not even sure what you call it. <laughs> but anyway, so he has a new job at work. He no longer works in the nurse's station. He has, his, he now has his own office. And, um, he will work eight to five 
Monday through Friday, which is a very big change for us because he used to work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, watch out, baby. <laughs> and every other Wednesday. So, um, work, and that was a lot of hours. So, he did get a raise, but actually he'll make, be making the same. He'll just be working less hours for that money. So, that's good for him. I'm happy about that because of his health. I'm worried about him. And so, knowing that he'll, you know, get paid the same amount, but he'll work less hours is a really good thing. And also, he now has a desk job and is not running all over the place, you know, in the nurse's station and tending to everything he did tend to. So, it's a blessing, and we're very excited about that. He's excited. He's happy about it. So, this was his last weekend to work. This week, um, through through the Christmas holiday, this Monday through Friday, he is going to work in the nurse's station. Um, there was some people already had that week off or things going on. He had already signed up for Christmas Day. Um, so he's going to work that this week. Um, and then he'll be off the weekend. And then the next week, he starts in his office. So um, we're excited about that. <laughs> you're not getting any more treats, little girl. No, you're not. You, no, you can't cook a bunch. <laughs> She's so spoiled. Anyway, I'm just rambling, but I'm just excited about that news for our family. Um, it is a big deal. Jody hasn't been off on Saturday and Sundays. Not that we really do anything on Saturday and Sundays. His weekend has always been Monday and Tuesday. And so, normally, he would be off Monday and Tuesday, and that would be his weekend. But we would have things going on like um, co-op, and so Elijah and I would be going all day for our homeschool co-op on Mondays, and then Tuesdays we'd have things going on and might go to a, you know, field trips or outings or meet up with friends and stuff, and so um, it's just going to be different. Saturdays and Sundays, he's normally worked like 10 a.m. to um, 11 to 12 at night on Saturday and Sunday, so it's going to be different having him home on Saturday and Sunday, but, um, I'm ready for him to get that relief and not, um, not be on his feet all day, and it's, it's just a blessing, and so I'm happy for him for that. Anyway, I'm rambling, as usual, <laughs> but, um, I know everyone's getting in high gear trying to finish up Christmas stuff and all that, um, Really, Christmas is a very low-key thing for our family. Um, we didn't even celebrate Christmas for a few years, just for the break of it. And we did Hanukkah. And um, just took a, you know, I hate the way Christmas is just um, so materialistic, I guess. I don't know. It's just that pressure. <laughs> and I hate that for the world that it is so materialistic and people are out going in debt buying things that they don't even need to be buying, you know. Um, again, I'm rambling. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in today and I will see you all again soon.